Multi-streaming just makes sense. Why stream to YouTube or Facebook, for example, when you can send content to both at the same time? Epiphan Pearl systems let you do exactly that. You can stream to two, three, four CDNs, as many as you have bandwidth to support. It's a pretty simple process, and that's true if you're using a Pearl 2, a Pearl Mini, or a Pearl Nano. I have a Pearl Mini here, and I'm going to show you how easy it is to stream to multiple destinations simultaneously. Okay, so starting on the Pearl Mini info page, which is what we see when we first log in, the next thing we want to do is navigate to the channel we're going to be using for live streaming. One of the very first steps we want to do is verify the encoding settings we're going to be using that they match up and are appropriate to the platforms we're going to be streaming to. In my case, 1080p with an appropriate bitrate. The next step is we're going to go to the streaming page of our encoding channel where we're going to define our RTMP push. You can see I have one here started for YouTube already and we'll be adding Facebook momentarily. We need a couple of pieces of information from the platform, the URL and the stream key. So I'm going to browse over to my YouTube channel where I've created a live stream and I can get this information very easily. YouTube makes this simple to copy that information and we just have to paste it into the appropriate boxes. So I can copy my URL, copy my stream key, and paste those into those boxes. I save those settings. And now I'm going to add a second RTMP push. I need to get the same information from Facebook. So browsing over to Facebook, I've created a live stream post. And similar, it gives me a URL, which I can simply copy and paste into my Perl settings. And the same thing with the stream key. One thing you'll notice that's different here is that Facebook uses RTMPS, but all we need to do is make sure that that's in the URL for compatibility, save it, and we now have both of those ready to go. Our next step is to start these streams. I can start both of them simultaneously using the start all button. And my next step is to verify that my platforms are receiving data. You can see here my counters are running on Perl. No errors have popped up, so I know Perl is running well. I can then browse over to my platforms here in YouTube Studio. I can clearly see that I'm receiving data and my health is excellent. I can do the same on Facebook. I can browse over, see that I'm receiving data, and then my health is excellent. And this is exactly what I want to do. Our final step is, if necessary, if your platform requires it, to make your final go live. Uh, some will start automatically. Some you may need to make a final go live uh, action. So just double check on that. So there you have it, multi-streaming on Perl. If you have any questions, please reach out to us at info at epifan.com. And for more about our products, check out epifan.com slash products. Thanks for watching.